Hi everyone, in a nutshell here. Today I want to talk about the second foundation by Isaac Asimov. Reading Isaac Asimov's story feels like reading historical events that hasn't happened yet. Glimpses of the future. He's written history of humanity that has gone through the various levels of the Kardashev scale. In rough estimation, his robotic series are the type 1 of the Kardashev scale, where we are finally able to fully use the resource of a planet when AI and robot has changed the history of Earth. Then, Type 2 is the start of his Empire series, when humans has had to abandon Earth and are able to use the energy of the stars, so they went to space. And finally, Type 3 are his Foundation series. Thousands of centuries has passed, Earth has long been forgotten, every culture, nation, and religion that once was are long gone and even the empire that has united the galaxy is starting to decay. Outcome mathematician Harry Sheldon, using psychohistory that read the course of history to predict the future, he built two foundations and put them in opposite end of the stars, so the empire can rise back from its ashes, so humanity can survive. And the second foundation is the last of the original trilogy of the foundation series. Sheldon's plan has been derailed by the mule, an individual that can affect people's emotion according to his will, a mutant. He managed to take control of the decaying empire and broke the foundation. The secretive second foundation had to come out to help the Sheldon's plan back on track and as a result, now they are more of an open secret that people will try to find. This is the story of that struggle. The foundation series used a storytelling that is, I think, still unique to itself. It skips through hundred or two thousand of years of history, and character and generation can change in a few chapters. Harry Shelton himself is more like a figure in the story, instead of a character. He's become this legend because of how much time has passed and people still remember him in the story. But the mule is one of the most interesting villains in sci-fi. Inspired or resembles some of the most iconic characters in our generation, like Professor X on how he can read and change mind. But a closer comparison is the people who mutated or evolved to have a stronger mental ability due to moving to space. The new types of Gundam. Isaac Asimov series remains one of the best sci-fi series. The story spans longer than the history we have. It is not an action though. If you're reading this looking for an action moment, I think you'll be disappointed. But what it has is most of his battle are to out with each other, a non-battle battle series if you would like to compare it, uh, like Death Note or Bakuman, that is how the action progress. But in a futuristic sci-fi setting, I highly recommend this series, I think it is one of the best sci-fi 